Hello. Today's task is spray foam insulation. So let me show you what we've got. Okay, I can't move. Let me show you what we're working with here. So what we're working with here is there's two containers and there's chemicals in each one um, and there's hoses hooked up to each one. So they're wrenched on. I'm gonna test and make sure that these are wrenched on as tight as I can. And then when you flick this switch here, it turns it on. And um, then on the end of the two hoses, you got this, which I better cut this off. Also, I'm wearing a long sleeve and long pants, even though it's hot outside, because apparently if you get this on your skin, it's pretty much game over. Okay, so. So, we're gonna take off all the tags. Don't want anything getting in the way. We've made sure the dogs are in a safe zone. Nope, stay there. Okay, well, they'll be over here now. And so what we're working with is this little guy here. And when you pump the trigger and then you just, you put a nozzle on here that keeps the two things, the two chemicals separate and that's the, uh, that's the technical term. So, we'll just see how it goes. Okay. <laughs> what? The hell? Um, just happened. You know what? I'm gonna reread <laughs> reread the manual. Um, all right. Obviously, the human error there was I didn't put the nozzle on tight enough. It's okay. We've got some minor um spill, but I mean, really, I hit the. I actually, if you could see over here, I, I hit the. I hit the part okay. So. We're gonna try, first we're gonna test it in the cottage cheese container. Down here, I'll let you know how it goes. Hopefully it doesn't blow off, it's on tight. And attempt number two. Oh wow, okay, it really is quite strong, okay. Okay, my hands were getting hot and I thought maybe it was the chemicals, but it was actually just the black gloves. So we're safe, we're fine. Um, it's making like a little bit of a mess as you can see, but it just turns into foam. So I mean, you can just pull that right off, right off later. Um, yeah, so it's no problem. It's just, you're not supposed to touch it while it's chemicals, but I better keep going before that hardens. And I'll show you what it looks like after. So I'm all done spray insulating, um, and it's a bit messy. I don't know, not really. Um, like the gun just drips, so it gets like these drips everywhere. They were right when they said like, don't get any skin because it just like attaches to everything. Like you really got to cover all your skin. And um, yeah, like, I mean, it's not a problem. Like these big chunks will just like come off, but I guess I'm just gonna be in here pulling these off and vacuuming until the sun goes down. And then I think I'm gonna do a bit of painting in the garage because I'm gonna paint all these panels that went on the walls. No, I'm still gonna cover them with like paneling, but um, when, like I might not, I'm probably not going to cover behind the cupboards. And so since I have those panels like behind some of the cupboards, like they'll be right here in front of the insulation, it'll be nice if it's just like plain white because these are looking like a bit messy. So I, I have white paint anyway, so I'm just gonna paint those. And yeah, and then tomorrow, I think I'm gonna put the solar panels on maybe if I can find the right brackets because I'm having like a hard time finding them, but 
I can probably find them, or I can just probably find something else that I can use. Um, and I might buy some wire and start kind of planning where everything goes. And I'm going to, tomorrow's a holiday, but I'll see if Battery World is open. Then I'm going to go to Battery World and hopefully get a battery and, or two probably, maybe one for now. And an inverter. <laughs>